Welcome to a quick video on how to set your pitch on your Flywing Heli with your radio and the software. And I have 3D printed a nice big broad phone holder that bolts firmly into the blade holder, doesn't wobble. I downloaded this app which seems to be the best without annoying adverts and uh, forget about the numbers what's important initially is to get these marks lined up as close as you can using the zero collective slider. Please make sure your blades are pointing front to back. Uh, if you don't have a pitch gauge, you can use the phone. It's uh, very accurate. It's accurate as you need it to be. So to start the process, your heli is on. You're in 3D mode. 3D mode, mode means a thousand. So forget about the atti. I've just changed this to a thousand so that I can have control. And you will press zero collective on your software you'll see it'll go blue which will now lock your radio now you can't do anything and at this point you're going to align these lines as close as you can by sliding this slider up or down so mine is set here i'm not going to move it now because it's perfect so if you're slightly out then you adjust those settings until you get it as close as you possibly can in the zero. So that's perfect. They do say to calibrate your pitch gauge on the head of the motor, which is all good and well, assuming that your motor, of course, is exactly perfectly level. On the cheaper heady as this is, I would imagine it's not the case. You could calibrate it to the table. Who's to say that the landing gear is straight so I do it this way and of course the GPS unit or the H1 unit will take care of the little imbalance that there might be because it's got altitude hold and that'll keep it at that altitude should you flick to 3D mode of course uh, then you might need to change that so once you have those in the right position you'll come and you press calibrate here calibrate and that'll give you a reading of zero there perfect now you'll go to max position you press max and I have a reading of just shy of 10 so I'm going to increase that by rolling this slider up very gently until I get to 10 which is good enough then I'm going to press max negative and here I'm looking for a setting of around 12. Please don't go according to my pitch values. Please follow the manufacturer's guide or use your own discretion. I like it this way. And when I'm done, I like it just under 12 around here. When you're ready, you press done. Now you've got control again, and now you can check it. I'm at full positive pitch. I have my 10 full negative pitch, I have my 11 point something, 0, 0, closest damn it, and uh, there we go.